schools. You may not know it, this is one of the newest permanent secretaries, Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Ms. Um, Lena Thompson, she is the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Transport. One of the two new ministries created, so she's one of the two new permanent secretaries. She was formerly at the Ministry of Energy, so she has a wealth of experience at that level of governance. What can I say more about Dr. Vincent Lass? Dr. Lass has given you an idea of his credentials, but I pay particular attention to his stint in politics, because this is a politically appointed board, and while his management skills are assumed, it's his political skills that I think needs to be focused on. As we have transformed ETSC for the last eight months, and reached areas of Trinidad and Tobago where public transport never touched before. Where we increased the fleet size in Tobago from seven operational buses, despite what others may say, to over 40 buses working on the island of Tobago. To effectively reduce the cost of public transportation in particular areas such as Clive described, to reduce the waiting time here in Port of Spain, in San Fernando, San Miguel, in Chicago, and other areas where the hubs are located, to be more customer oriented and customer driven, to have a vision to introduce GPS technology so persons could use that to their advantage, to focus on increasing revenues with a renewed advertising and market interest led by board member Ashwani Mahabir to focus on the handicap. Their needs have been ignored for too long by the PTSC and we are hopeful by the end of this year at least 25 handicap buses, those buses with different labels will be in Trinidad to be so Mr. Lass has, Dr. Lass has a lot of work ahead of him, but I'm confident of his abilities to rise to the occasion. And as I've said on numerous occasions, that this board is perhaps one of the best boards among the boards of government. Having been the chairman here for over eight months, I know this level of teamwork and camaraderie. And common vision to improve the cooperation from where we I'd like to welcome Dr. Lassie and the PTSC family and assure him that not only does the board perform but also the management and staff. <laughs> Upon assuming office eight months ago, this board met the management of place and staff working for a number of years. That people were complaining that they didn't get buses on time. They were late. They had to wait and there was little or no movement, there was stagnation. With the very same management, with the very same staff, we have transformed the organization. So it clearly shows that leadership at the board level was lacking for the past year. And that leadership has now arrived at the PTSC and you have seen the transformation that has happened.